Can you solve this geometry puzzle? The circles are tangential. The line is tangent to both circles, and they barely touch the square at two adjacent vertices. Give this problem a try, and keep watching to see the solution. We'll begin by calling a side length S. If we drop this radius, then it's going to be perpendicular to the line because, as we showed in a previous video, the tangent to a circle is always perpendicular to its radius at the point of tangency. Make sure to watch this proof if you haven't already. We'll now draw a line parallel to the tangent from the top left vertex to the radius, like this. This is a little shorter than the radius, let's say a centimeters long, and it'll divide the radius into two chunks. This part is s, and this part is 5 minus s. If we draw this a segment over here, then this entire length will be a plus s plus a, and it must be 2 radii. In other words, 2a plus s equals 10. This is the first equation relating the two. And to get a second equation, we'll draw another radius like this. Notice that this angle must also be 90 degrees, so we have a right angle triangle over here. Using the Pythagorean theorem, we get a squared plus the square of 5 minus s equals 5 squared. We can expand and simplify. And now we'll have to use the first equation we've written to express a in terms of s. We'll plug that in the quadratic equation, and then we'll expand and simplify. Let's factorize this equation, and this gives us s equals 2 or s equals 10. 10 is physically irrelevant. It's an extraneous solution introduced by the squaring, so the answer must be 2. The square, therefore, has a side length of 2 centimeters, and its area must be 4 squared centimeters. A very interesting problem that can be solved using a variety of methods. So, if you've got any alternatives in mind, make sure to mention them in the comments down below. 